Peace family, welcome to another episode of Underground Railroad Productions. This is your host, Brother Rich, and I'm joined by... Lloyd Strayhorn, Astro Numerologist. How you doing, buddy? Welcome. Man, it's always and a pleasure to... I'm very, very honored to be back on your channel. It's always a pleasure to have you on here, brother. You done been everywhere around the world. You done been on Oprah. You done been on all types of radio shows. Yeah. So for you to... Visit my platform is definitely an honor, brother. Well, the feeling is mine. I'm very honored to be on here. I want you to give us, give us, and I want to have you on here more often. Give us a report about what's going on astrologically at this time. A lot of people are talking about the solar eclipse that's getting ready to happen. We see a lot of things happening. Mm -hmm. Talk to me astrologically, brother. Well, actually, the solar eclipse isn't going to take place until the 21st of this month. But what's more immediate is the fact that as of today, well, as of yesterday on August the 12th, Mercury, the planet of communications, went retrograde. Mercury is a phenomenon, or Mercury retrograde is a phenomenon that occurs three times a year. And when it occurs, it always lasts a period of 21 days. This particular year, all the Mercury retrogrades are in fire signs. So we did the one back in April for Aries, now this one for Leo, then the next one will be in uh, December for Sagittarius. But when Mercury's retrograde, it means that we should not go into just general assumptions. Well, I thought you said this, and no, I thought you said that. We must be as specific as possible about the things that you're saying. Uh, this is the worst time where Mercury's retrograde to uh, uh, buy computers, your phone acts up, the cars act up, you know, this is when a guy sends a text to his girlfriend and goes to his wife. You know, all kinds of drama, man. You know, this is not the right time. Oh, brother, you said two. No, man, you said three. So it's when people get into the little silliest, littlest arguments, man. And so if you got an appointment, leave early. If you got a check coming to you, and normally a check takes two or three days when Mercury's retrograde as it is right now until the 5th of September, because it's always 21 days, go get your money. If you're in the neighborhood, go get your money, because a mail that would normally take two or three days may take as much as a week and almost two weeks to get to you, especially for some reason where money is concerned. So that's one of the phenomena. Numerically speaking, 2017 is the year of the one. In other words, that says two plus zero plus one plus seven is 10, and one plus zero is one. What it means is, when I say the universal year, the word universal implies to each and every one of us, but to a different, uh, a greater or lesser degree. So astrologically, those under the signs of Leo this year, Aries this year, Aquarius this year, if you know them, they're the ones that's going to the head of the class. Numerically, if you know anybody born on the first, the 10th, the 19th, or the 28th, though they too, numerically speaking, will be the standouts. But this year, it is a very important that everybody learns how to stand on their own two feet, how to be self-reliant and independent. And this is important because there are people sometimes in codependent relationships for whatever reason. Well, this year is saying if that's the, the case, circumstances or conditions will force you to stand on your own two feet. So for those who haven't learned how to stand on their own, this year says you better get with the program for what is left. Um, but if you want to be proactive, if you want to get something new off the ground, uh, bring something new into the mix, whether it's a relationship or a business or a project plan or enterprise, you couldn't have picked a better year than this to get it started. So the eclipse is going to happen during a Mercury retrograde. Yes, it is. It's going to happen at the same time. And it's now, very now, interesting you said that. Go ahead. Uh, just real quick, because I definitely want you to touch on that. But I'm reading online and they're saying when these type of eclipse happens, kings fall, governments fall. Mm -hmm. They're saying all types of things happen. Well, uh, an eclipse. See, there are two eclipses. One is the solar eclipse where the moon blocks the sun. And one is the... It, it, yeah, yeah the, sun, the sun blocks the moon, and then there's the lunar eclipse where, so it's a solar eclipse, which is the eclipse from the sun, and then there's a lunar eclipse, which is from the moon. This will be uh, in the daytime, in a lunar eclipse, and it'll be one of those rare times when all of a sudden the world will go dark for a couple of minutes, all right? But normally it means a dramatic change in government, heads of states, people of royalty, people of fame, 
and sometimes and with mercury being retrograde whatever could go wrong is likely to go wrong when mercury is retrograde so i'm saying with those kinds of things it it just makes for a very interesting combination coming up on the 21st of this month so just be mindful uh, watch your manners, watch your tempers, and watch your mouth. Don't, don't let your mouth say something that'll get you in trouble or say something that you can't take back. This is not so, the year for it. So if your mouth during Mercury retrograde, if your mouth could say something that could get you in trouble, can my mouth also say something to get, bring me super success? Because they got, they're both the same. If it's an extreme situation going on in Mer Mercury retrograde and it could really hurt me, then that means it could also really help me as well. Is that true? Well, the way you put it, it's like whether a person look at their half glass of life as either half full or half empty. So if you're looking at it as half full, you can take advantage by knowing that, first of all, Mercury's retrograde. So it means double check. Don't just assume. And that since the eclipse is coming up, it just simply means not to let anybody ruffle your feathers, throw you off your center and whatnot. And you'll find that you should weather it pretty well. But if you find, and only because most people are not aware of these phenomena that take place in the heavens, if you find that they're acting sort, acting strange, acting all crazy, don't worry about that. The point is you make sure that you are okay and you work with the prevailing conditions. Don't assume, don't take things for granted and be careful of the things you say, especially with people of loved ones. Here's another interesting thing too with the eclipse and their phenomena. Let's say you met a person, they have a great business contact and the last four numbers of their phone number is 0716. Although you might hear 0716, you might write down 0761. So technically you got the person's numbers, but you don't have it in the right order. This is why I was saying this like, let's say a guy met the most beautiful woman in the world and he wants to get to know her better, get to know her phone number. And he says, just call any number. Man, he'll be calling till the cows come home. But if he's got the right numbers in the right order, in the right sequence, it gets the right person he's looking for. Just that simple. Astrologically speaking, was it meant for Trump to be in office? And no matter what we think from our human mind, astrologically, this man was going to be in office at this time with his personality? Well, it's got to be. And it's interesting uh, because I did a, a, a show that was, in fact, aired on YouTube because, called the Hillary Trump prediction 2016 prediction and at that time I was predicting how Hillary's going to win hands down which in fact she did win the popular vote but to the credit of the reporter his name is Gary Toms he asked me well what happens should Donald Trump win and I says well it would be very unlikely but if he wins it tells me a couple of things that a that this country has lost its moral compass as you saw what happened in Charlottesville, Virginia, all that stuff, all the, the things that they allowed to go down with that. But not only that, but that Donald Trump would enter the presidency under a cloud of scandals and lawsuits. And brother, that's exactly what it's been about since he's been in office, six, seven months. That's exactly all he's gone through. And so things are gonna get worse before it gets better. And I do think, I know, I know he will not serve four years. Not at the rate he's going, no. So when I talk to certain um, astrologers, they always tell me that you're not one sign, you're all 12 signs. That is true. I need you to help me to understand, because I'm a Virgo, September 17th. Help a me Virgo? to- Virgo? Yeah, Virgo. September Help me 17th, to understand. Same day as my son. Yeah. Uh, so I'm a Virgo, but how am I all 12 signs? Well, here's the and, thing. And like, and do, do I walk a certain sign, talk a certain sign, eat a certain Like, Explain that to the people in me. That's a great question. The, the only sign that is normally projected is what is called our sun sign. In other words, on the month, the day, and the year we were born, in that particular part of the year, under that constellation, we would exhibit a characteristic exhibited by that sun sign. But we're more than just a sun sign. You have a moon position. You have an ascendant or a rising sign. Then you have your Mercury. What sign is your Mars in? What sign is your Venus in? So you'll find that you're really a mix. So you will meet a Virgo born September the 17th, but it doesn't mean he's a Virgo through and through. 
That's why you can meet other people born September the 17th. They're not going to look like you. They're not going to act like you. They're not born the same day as you. They wasn't born the same time as you. They wasn't born in the same location as you. So therefore, yes, y'all are Virgos born September the 17th, perhaps, but there will be a different nuance. This is why an astrologer, a professional astrologer, needs to know the exact time you were born, the exact location you were born, as well as the month and the day and the year, so they can do their what is called longitude and latitude, which we now refer into modern terms, what your GPS is. What was your GPS with the planets around the time of your birth? And then they'll do a progress chart, which means now that you're full adult and the planets have been rotating and rearranged, thus that's called a progress chart, where the planets are presently positioned versus your natal chart, which is where you were on the time, the month, the day, and the year that you were born. I definitely appreciate your time, brother. Uh, I know you got to go. Yes. And um, <laughs> is there any last... Is there any last comments you want to leave for the people out here? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, that this is a year to st of what's left of 2017, 2017 yes. to still take advantage of being more independent. Now, when I say that, it don't mean you don't listen to nobody. You don't give two hootie wops about nobody. You know, you're just looking out for number one. But what I'm saying is, how are you going to help somebody else if you don't have your act together? Even when there's a change in the cabin pressure on an airplane, they will tell you the first rule of thumb when the mask drops down, because the instinct is to put it on your child, your, your loved one, is to put it on yourself first. Well, that's the kind of year 2017 is. Get yourself together, then you're in a better position to help your loved ones, mates, children, whatever the case is. I have one more question I forgot. Um, as an astrologist, how do you feel when you hear people talk about flat earth theory? Does that make any sense to you from an astrological perspective? Flat earth theory? Yeah, yeah. Well, that sounds like the Europeans that didn't think the world was round. You know, they thought that as far when the eyes went beyond the horizon, you fall off. That's a European thinking. That's a very old way of thinking. Where in African traditions, as Dr. Ivan Van Sertimus wrote in his famous book that came before Columbus, we all in ways knew the world was circular in its motion. So the flat thing is considered, I don't know what it is, but if you go and put a satellite in heavens and look, you'll see that the earth as we know it is still spinning on its axis, it's not flat at all. Did you leave your contact information? Uh, yeah. For those who want to yeah. get in touch with me, I would, have, I would suggest if you want to know about your particular sign for 2017, go to my website, lloyd-strayhorn.com. Now I'll spell it for you, Lloyd is L-L-O-Y-D, Strayhorn, S-T-R-A-Y-H-O-R-N. So Lloyd-Strayhorn.com. Go to my website. You can also schedule appointments through there. Or if you want a reading also, you can call me on my toll-free number, which is 1-800-581-4401. That's 1-800-581-4401. And I want to thank you, and I'll be back on a regular basis for you. So we'll do this, because I have a lot more to share.